Hello and welcome back my friends. Today we're going to learn how to make this cool effect, so strap in and let's go. On the timeline we have a roto brushed layer on top of two background layers. If you don't know how to separate a subject from a background using the roto brush, we've dropped a video on that so check it out. All good and well, I hear you say. But why two different background layers beneath our roto brushed one? That's because the background will transform for the effect but we only need it to transform for the duration of that effect. We could do this with keyframes, but the easiest way is to use two backgrounds, one with the effect and one original. The one with the effect begins and ends together with our roto frame, and the original background layer just runs beneath everything. Okay, let's get down to business. Head on up to the effects panel, type motion tile, and drag the effect onto our layer. This effect will come in handy down the line. In effect controls, turn both output width and output height up to 150 and check the box for mirror edges. Head back to the effects panel, type twirl, and drag the twirl effect onto the layer as well. Turn the angle up to about 85 and create a keyframe for the first frame of the layer. Scrub on down toward the last frame and simply hit reset. Another keyframe will be created. Set twirl radius to 60 and hit the keyframe button for this one as well. Again, scrub over to the last frame, right-click on Twirl Radius and hit Reset. As you can see, the twirl effect is applied smoothly to our background. I am now able to show you why the motion tile is so important here. The twirl effect distorts our background in such a way that it creates a lot of dead space on our plate. We have gotten motion tile to fill up this space by mirroring the image so that it all blends together nicely. Back we go to the effects panel. Type CC Lens and toss the CC Lens effect onto our layer. Set size to 130 and hit the keyframe button. Scrub to the last frame and up the value to 500. Again, we head to Effects, type in Turbulent, and drag the Turbulent Displace effect onto our layer. Put this effect above Twirl and under Motion Tile in the effect chain. For amount, we'll put 140 and create a keyframe. Scrub to the last frame and set amount to zero. Already cooking with fire over here. Type glow into effects and place the glow effect onto our layer. We'll put glow tress hold at 40 and glow radius we'll put at 85. Create a keyframe for tress hold. Last frame put it at 100. We now have an intense glow to kick off our effect. Drag the color balance HLS effect onto the layer. We'll set a starting color by turning the knob under hue. I went with bubblegum green for this one. Hit the keyframe button for hue. Make sure we are able to see our keyframes on the timeline by selecting the layer and pressing U. Then scrub to the last frame. Click reset on the color balance effect under effect controls. The effect now cycles through the color spectrum until it is back at our default colors. Let's push the keyframe for hue to the front a little. This way the colors bounce back just before the rest of the effect finishes. Almost there. With our effects unfolded on the timeline, we can easily view all our keyframes. Select the last keyframe for everything and hit F9, turning them into Beziers. For the pro approach, we'll click the graph button and pull the outside inward like this. Looks smooth. We'll do this same process for every set of keyframes except for turbulent displace. Cool. Now as a finishing touch, some motion blur. You know I love me some motion blur. Select the roto brush layer and the effects layer. Right click them and hit pre-compose. Drag your favorite blur effect onto the pre-comp layer. If you've been watching this channel, you know I'm partial to the RSMB. That's a paid plugin, but any motion blur effect will do. I trust you guys to figure it out. With that, the picture is complete. A nice candy swirl effect, quick and simple, but excellent for spicing up your vids. That was it for this video guys. Like and subscribe for more vids like this. And as always, catch you all on the next one.